So in my recent videos, I've been talking about cordless machines, how we use maybe like a cordless polisher, how we have a cordless air blower, um, how we use cordless or how we're gonna get a cordless uh, vacuum. So we're, we're, we're getting a lot more cordless equipment. And a frequent question I've been receiving uh, on Instagram and YouTube is what polisher are we using to apply the wax on machines? And this one is by far one of the most simplest, basic, straightforward polishers that you can use. And it's a like, I don't know if it's a hundred or $150 that we purchased locally at AutoZone. I have it linked down below on Amazon, but if you go to either O'Reilly's or uh, AutoZone, you should find it there. And it's this, uh, I don't even know what it's called. It's a Pro Elite. And the main thing that we use, the primary thing that we use it for is to apply a wax or a sealant or what have you on a vehicle. And remember that on April 22nd at 6 p.m. Central Time, I'll be hosting a training on the biggest mistakes I've made in the business in my business over the last seven years. I'll be going into detail on those lessons, so click down below to get notified on that training. The reason why it's so basic and simple is because we're not going to use this for correction. There isn't enough force. Like I can bog it down easily with this, with my hand. It's, it's not going to be there to correct paint. Now, could you in some certain scenarios? Sure, but. At that point, we have specific machines for that. We have, uh, we have, we're gonna start using a cordless 15 millimeter throw polisher. So we would just grab that. So with this one, the primary use of it is just to apply the wax and sealant. Yes, there is a dial here for, for speed, right? But we, we just use it, we keep it like around three or four to apply the wax. Another use case for this is on the interior, cleaning the headliner, or how we used it yesterday. We were cleaning a Mercedes Airstream, and we use it to clean the fibers, the um, the fabric, the sidewalls. Now, what we do for the interior is we will put a six-inch microfiber cutting disc on this, and use it to agitate the headliner, or as we used it yesterday to agitate the um, the fabric material. Now, the reason why that works is because it's still it's not gonna be heavy pressure, right? It's gonna bog down pretty lightly, but it's better than, than doing this on the headliner or as we were working on yesterday, the sidewalls. We can just put a microfiber disc, turn it on, it's quiet, it's not overly powerful, it's not powerful, and you just lightly clean whatever fabric that you're cleaning. Now with this one, it comes with two batteries. We haven't had a problem with the battery dying out. Of course, we're gonna charge it when it's not being in use, that way it's always fully charged. But the batteries haven't failed on us yet, and we just, and you can get, I don't know, we haven't like, use it to its max in one day so it's not like we use it just like six hours at a time but you can get several vehicles out of it before the battery gets drained out and again you come with two batteries so you can just slide one out slide the other slide the other one in and continue to work now the one i'll link down on from amazon it's a different brand but it looks like just about the exact same so i'm sure they're just purchasing it slapping a different label changing the color and then reselling it so I think the one on Amazon is like 150, but check locally because that's where we purchased ours. And I, I don't remember if it was 100 or 150, but just check locally if like you're gonna go buy oil. Just check to see if this is in stock. Now another frequent question I get simultaneously with what machine are we using is what wax or sealant are we using? And as of right now, over the last few videos that we that we that I've posted uh, with waxes, it's been the Jess Car finishing products, their Power Lot Plus. It's their sealant, so that's what we're currently using. 
um, again, like, is this the best? Before this, we were using the um, lithium sealant squeal, or a, a squeal, I believe. So I'm, I'm not saying like this is the best or like this is the only one that we want to use. This is just what we're currently using. I'll, I'll, I'll link it down below too if you're interested in getting, getting this one. Now again, if you have a six inch polisher, a 15, a 21, do you really need this? Technically, no, but it goes back to the cordless features of it, right? Of not, not that this is cordless, but about using cordless machines. Us being mobile on the job site, right? If we wanted to apply wax or a sealant to a, 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 a vehicle, we have to what? We have to bring the machine out get the cord, plug it in. We, we, and we have a good, a, a good setup. We have uh, the generator hooked up to an electric, uh, electric reel and we just pull the reel. So it's not like we're like, you know, uh, 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 stringing apart the cord every single time. So we just pull the reel, attach it, then get to the machine. So yes, like with our system, it's not that bad because it's a pretty good workflow, but nonetheless, we have to keep the generator running, right? And sometimes like we are running the generator six, seven hours at a time. And you know, it just, it's cool to just have no noise going on, right? Like once we turn like, when we're on the job site and we have the like air blower, then the generator is running, then the extractor is running, and we're using the air. Like after a certain part of the time, you just you don't want that noise in your ear the entire time. So once we turn off the generator, we're like, oh my god, like quietness, you know? So if we're able to turn off the generator, right? And just use this, it helps us out just like the comfortability level of like, okay, we're not hearing a machine running the entire time. So it takes that hassle. But nonetheless, like it is, I'm not trying to be like, you know, it, it, it is a difference. Just being able to get this machine, get this bag out of the van, open it up and have this versus we take the polisher out. We have to keep the generator running. We pull the electrical reel, the, the cord from the electrical reel. We hook it up, we walk there. And then as you work around, you have to what? Watch out for the cord, make sure it's long enough. And like, you know, not that it's like cr crazy, uh, not that it's overly, you know, hassle, but comparing it to just being able to move around the entire vehicle with no problem, no cord, nothing noisy, not super, uh, it, it, it doesn't vibrate a lot. Like it's fine in your hand, it's quiet. This just makes a world of difference. So I would recommend when you get to the point, again, don't be like, oh, Oscar's using this, so let me get it. Make sure you have the customers, you're making money. Don't just, if you haven't started your business yet and you're like, that's the last thing I have to get before I start, no, don't even worry about that. But if, if you're doing exterior jobs and you're applying wax sealants, this is a good fit. Now, if, they, like, if, you're, if you're just getting into the business or you're just starting and you're like, do I get this over a, whatever, a, a dual action, like an eight millimeter throw, like, a, like let's say a GG6 or a GG9, I would still recommend the traditional GG9 because you can actually get correction and polishing out of that. This, I would say you're just using it for applying wax and seal it. Like, could you get some correction out of it? Yes, but because these batteries aren't meant for like super long duration use and like it's, it doesn't have a strong power, you'll see a lot more limitation on that end. That's why I'd, I'd only use this as a default for us for the wax and seal it and headliner cleaning. Um, if, you don't, if, if you're looking at, at a polisher, I would say just get a, a polisher first because you have much more versatility and power out of that versus this. All right, and that's gonna wrap up this video. If you have any comments, questions, concerns about this, how we use it, where we use it, leave it in the question down below. Again, I make videos based on the feedback that you guys give me. So if you ask the question, although I may not answer you right then and there, I do get to making a video around this. So the reason why I'm making this video is because so many people ask me, what are you using? What wax, what, what machine? So here we are with this video. And again, remember that next week, April 22nd at 6 p.m. Central Time, I'll be hosting that live training. So uh, you can also click down below in the description box for to get notified on that training. Other than that, I'll talk to you guys on the next one.